Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying a Cobalt Core. I'm still, uh, you know, neck deep in demos from the Steam Next Fest. Um, I'm going to play this for a little bit. I'm going to be playing it blind, so I'll be doing some of this tutorial, but it will be edited. Um, if you have any interest in this, I encourage you to check out the link in the description to uh, try the demo your yourself. I don't know how long it's going to be available, but um, you can always wishlist the game if you... So uh, let's give it a go. I have heard that this has FTL vibes, maybe some deck buildy vibes as well. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. Personality core corrupted. Yo, it me for real, for real. Ooh. Oh, we're going for. This is uh, this is one of them deep vibes. Encrypting memory bank, restarting personality core. Okay. Hello. Ooh. Uh, uh. Hey, wake up. Instant regret. My head. Okay, good. Your vitals seem stable. What ha what's happening? I have to wake you all up from cryo sleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those. I assume. Sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. And there's a ship off the bow, powering up their weapons. Everybody to the bridge now. <clears throat> Here we go. Play cards to outwit your opponents. You draw five cards each turn. That's it? No, each card costs energy. The card's energy cost is shown in the top left. I'm right right off the heels of playing uh, Earthless, and I I made some um, uh, comments about how that game kind of retreaded uh, steps of other games. It felt a little familiar. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't do the same thing again. We'll see, though. Each card costs energy. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You, I mean, I'm not saying that because cards cost energy. Obviously, they're going to be costing resources no matter what. That's just video games. You get three energy each turn. Use it or lose it. Energy doesn't last between turns. Gotcha. Attack your enemy with attack cards. Gotcha. I shot it. I like the little uh, response there. That was kind of fun. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This enemy intends to attack you for one damage. All right, so we better block. You've still got one energy. Play the rest of this turn at yourself. Well, I mean, multi-shot seems like the, the way to go. We're going to be blocking the one attack, so we'll do as much as we can. Out of energy, it's time to end the turn. I like, I really like the sound effects. It's like really chill, you know? It doesn't make me want to die. <laughs> That's a big attack. We can use evade to dodge attacks. Play this card to ev evade. Statuses are shown below your ship. Some have passive effects. Others are used as resources. Evade is a status you use to move around. Okay, so then we're going to move away from the attack. Now you've got the basics. Okay, now, so I see we're, we're, you know, we can avoid an attack entirely. This will let us draw some cards. Do we need to draw some cards? Move right. Instantly move two spaces to the right. I guess we don't need to do that anymore. So we'll attack and draw, and then we'll do another multi-attack. Pew pew, like a sitting duck. All right. Same business as before. We'll defend one, and then we'll attack, draw more attack more there we go um looks like they're doing something new new what are they doing enemy is going to apply a status effect to itself the enemy is going to raise their shields okay we'll do a multi-attack and um I, I guess we'll just do some more attacks more multi-attacks oh they're dead artifacts are held by the ship's crew and change the rules of com combat you can have multiple on each crewmate warp prep gain one shield and one evade on the first turn Block up to yeah i mean I, I know what those do now no all right well i guess if i was gonna pick one i would pick firing one and then evasion seems pretty good i'm starting to remember fight the cobalt the hyperdrive yeah you blew it up maybe i vaguely remember pushing a button then the whole the white light yeah you blew it up guys shut up you have this argument every loop i've heard it 517 times now fine all right we've got the coordinates of the cobalt programmed in Let's get there and stop the time loop. I appreciate the, the design of all these characters. It is a very cute game. See, Riggs remembers usually she's the last one. I'm improving. Oh God, every time, every time I can't escape it. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know why I have such a problem with it. I have a problem <laughs> with this same roadmap design of level structures being an every single game I play now and I know I know under, I understand it's a necessary evil but I would love to see anyone try to just break out of this it's just it's it's every single time 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to complain about it. It's it's not something maybe anyone can control, but uh, I just like I feel like it shows such a lack of creativity instantly. Like it shows me like okay, you just you just w needed something here, and so you put that here because it works in every other game, and uh, it's just like it really instantly puts a bad taste in my mouth. I'm still gonna try the tough battle to just to see what a really hard battle looks like in this game. There's a pirate hailing us. How can you tell they're a pirate? They have a big skull painted on their hull. Ah, surrender and drop your shields or I'll drop them for you. Drake, huh? Um, no, have it your way. Nice. There's asteroids to block certain projectiles. Watch out, if this attack hits you, it'll also give you a status. Okay, that's what the down arrows mean, gotcha. Um. We'll, we'll use this. It'll give us evade, but we don't actually have to use that right away. And then we can fire on them. And uh, I guess I can't play this. I should have healed. Bummer. We'll move to the right. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I wonder, does evade carry over turns? I bet it doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay, so gaining evade is actually quite good. We should have used that evade card when we could have. Um, so we have one evade, but it's not going to be enough. So we'll do one multi-shot and one scramble. And we'll move two behind these asteroids so they have to come to us. See ya, suckers. I like that. That's, that's fun. Okay, um, we can't get to, like, the perfect zone here. What we could do, though, is stun charge, multi-shot. Oh, except it's, the stun is applied to the first shot and not the second one. I should have shot first and then stunned that's fine um we'll put up our shields and um uh, what can we do here not much I, I would prefer not to use any of these we'll let them fire on us because then they'll get rid of those asteroids for us um and then wait we don't get to keep the stun it's not no longer applied to our next attack okay we'll uh use our evade put up some more sh oh what does that cost two Oh, I guess it's exhausted. No, it, it wasn't exhausted. What did I play just now? Lunge? No. Oh, scramble. Scramble does cost two. Okay. Well, I was going to play battle repair, but I'm just going to move over and continue raising our shields for the time being. You can kind of play the long con here a little bit, which is nice. In fact, we could build up our evade reserves so that like when and if they come over here, we have plenty of evasion to kind of offset them a little bit. Now we do have our stun, so we'll move over one, put up our stun, and then shoot them. And okay, so that only stuns that gun. Interesting. We have some turns left, so we'll go ahead and throw a battle repair in there, and that's going to heal us. We can take this very slow, and I kind of appreciate that. Um, we don't have a stun. We can't really do much. I mean, we have plenty of shields, but uh, it'd be better if we just didn't take that damage i'm assuming if we shield it won't actually do anything oh it does actually give us the temp shield just not the uh other shields what we'll do is we'll play this so that we get more evasion i'm just building up our evasion reserves until maybe we get um we, we see our moment and then we can fire like uh this wouldn't be terrible we can do is move one right and then use this to move two and fire and then fire again fire again and then move right to avoid that shot okay so i'm starting to see the flow of this game a little bit it's actually really cool i, I like this a lot um okay uh what do we want to do here well i move one stun this let's we may as well gain some temp shield and that way we are going to negate this damage and that way we can also commit to doing more damage there's no point in drawing more but that's fine oh except they gave us a they gave us an effect as well i forgot about that excess heat if heat is three or more at the end of the turn take one hull damage okay well one is not bad one is not a problem um we have one evade so what we could do is move to fire one do another hit and then um, we already have the evade, so we don't need to do this, but I'll use it just to um, make up for the one I'm using. So now there's no more asteroids to really help us. We still have one evade. 
so that's fine. Uh, we don't want to use lunge, that would be bad. So we just want to hit them as much as possible. And I guess I'll... Yeah, we'll just we'll just hit them as much as we can. And then move right one. And I guess we did this without taking any damage. In fact, we healed one, which is pretty good. Um, shield capacity... Max shield is lowered by one for the rest of combat, but we gain four... I don't like... I don't like that double side, like double-bladed weapon there. Uh, discard all cards, draw five cards, exhaust. So this is like, you know, if we don't like our current hand, we just throw it away. Block shot is okay. This costs nothing, so I guess I will take this. Pick an artifact. Gain one max hull and heal one every time you defeat a boss or elite. Gain two evade on the first turn. I like that. On pickup, your missile bay gains armor. This part takes one less damage from all attacks. Uh, which is our missile bay? Oh, I get it's that one. Okay, so you oh, okay, so there's certain artifacts that will improve certain parts of your ship. So then you can like navigate things so that your the enemy attacks will hit certain parts of your ships that, that are like armored. That's cool. I'm going to go for the evasion, though, since it's actually like I'm starting to see that. All right, so we already have three evasion. Um, we can move two out of the way kind of want to just like use this right now and then move and then shield surge <clears throat> and then just dodge two out of the way this is a very wide ship what is happening here the enemy is going to give you a card this can't be dodged get ready what do you mean it can't be dodged wherever you are okay well i guess we may as well do as much damage as we can so i'll shoot and gain evasion and i'll shoot and gain shield Stun does not, um, yeah, it goes away at the start of the next turn. Okay, we'll just gain more evasion. That's fine. So they're giving me three trash. That sucks. Um, we have tons of evasion, so we can do tons of damage here and then just like walk it away. <laughs> and we can, in fact, even get rid of some of this trash. I see it works like in every other deck builder where um, it, it's basically energy you have to spend to get rid of the trash. Um, I wonder... Oh, I wish we had lunge right now. That would, this would be perfect time to get lunge because then I could um, do a stun attack, stun charge, and then lunge, and then um, well, we can't. It's fine. We'll, what we'll do is we'll gain a ton of evasion, do a stun charge, move to stun so we take we get one less trash. We can't get rid of that trash, unfortunately, but we got to damage them. They also got some shield back, so that's unfortunate. They're going to do some damage to me now. Um, let's like hit them. We have enough evasion to get out of the way completely, I think. We'll hit them and then trash and then we'll evade. We've spent all our evade evasion there, though, is the only problem with that. Um, well, we'll, uh, we'll gain some cards. We'll play our trash. This is our moment to like our, our you know, breathing moment to, to get rid of some trash while they give us some more. So they're going to do some damage to us. We have our plenty of shields, so we don't have to worry too much about this. Um, getting some evasion would be nice. So we'll do that. And we'll shoot them and then move out of the way. I'm not going to worry too much about the trash. Uh, I guess now is a good moment to get rid of some trash. All right, so they're going to hit us pretty good here. But if I like... Hmm, if I lunged twice... Then this would be in the center, and then I'd have to move three out of the way. No, I, it's not worth it. It would be better to just spend two evasion to move out of the way. So I'm just going to, like, shoot them. And I guess I'll shoot them and gain evasion. And that way we can just, like, walk away. And we still get to keep some evasion. Okay, stun right now would be good. I'll stun them. Pop, pop. We do some more damage. Pop, pop. We're doing lots of damage. We only need to do two damage to them now, and then we win. Um, we're just going to walk away from this. We'll hit them once. I mean, maybe I'm being like very overzealous and like taking damage, but if we can do damage to them and walk away, why not, right? Evasion is super working for me. I like it a lot. I like this multi-blast, but it costs two. That kind of bites. Um, deals one hull damage at the end of every turn. Corros Corrode is really nice. Search, discard, move a card to the top of the draw pile. I'm going to take Acid Cannon, but it's a risk because it costs my entire turn to play that. Stun Calibrator. 
Your next at one attacks will stun. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. Oh, that's cool. That makes multi attacks really worthwhile, actually. So, like, if I do this multi shot here, oh, this acid cannon's really tempting, like, right off the bat, because then they'll be taking damage the entire combat. Let's do that. And then we'll just walk away from that one damage. Okay, we've got missiles. Missile is going to deal three damage, but we can just like walk away from that one. Um, let's get some more evasion back. And then we're just gonna get a temp shield and a regular shield and block that one damage. This guy's gonna launch something, probably another missile. This one's gonna do damage twice. I wish I had multi shot right now. Actually, you know what I could do? We'll do a stun charge and then we'll do think twice. I still didn't get my stun, my, my multi shot. Wow, that sucks. Um, well, we have two evade. That really bites. I was really hoping I could like destroy this missile and then also stun the missile bay in one turn. But you know what's like super working for me right now? Evade. So we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, evade. Ugh. Then we get the multi shot. Okay. Well, it's fine. Like, they're taking damage every single turn right now, so I don't actually have to hit them anymore. Um, okay, we can't, we're can't. we gonna take damage here. I don't think that there's any way to avoid that. Unless we had a stun, which we do, because if I hit them once, this is gonna do a stun. Perfect. Um, and we can even hit them again, and then they're gonna die on their next turn. I'm super liking this game. It's simple, but like the strategy is there and it, it does feel fresh like there's some interesting things happening here the way you move around the the field is novel um and the way it kind of interacts with attacking the fact that you can like upgrade certain parts of your ship it uh, it adds an interesting kind of like tactical edge to the whole deck building thing big crystal huh big crystal big crystal wow indeed big crystal <laughs> okay Okay, we're gonna move to the left. We're gonna do a multi-shot and get rid of that attack. We'll move to the left. We're gonna hit once. And, oh, that doesn't give us stun. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll gain evasion anyway. So, and we're blocking that with temporary shield. So you only get the sh stun once per turn. Okay, do we have temporary shields? It doesn't look like it, but we can stun this. Move to the right apply stun and then stun this other one and now we can just kind of go to town i actually like the idea of just gaining evasion and an extra card draw on the next turn okay we have multi-strike so we can move to the left get rid of that attack um wish we could do acid cannon it's never going to be viable it seems we don't even need to do battle repair uh wish i could have done acid cannon actually let's improve our shields and, oh, evasion would have been really smart, actually. Why didn't I do evasion? Silly. I guess I can't really do anything. Shoot. Really kind of bungled that. Wow, we're really threading the needle here. Um, kind of want to... Let's do think twice here. I really want to do acid shot now. And of course, it doesn't show up when I need it. Hilarious. All right, let's just hit it as hard as we can. Nice. All right, now we're going to start taking some damage. Um, how can we do this? Oh, this is actually really simple. Move to the right, get rid of that attack. Uh, maybe it's not as simple as I thought, actually. Um, move to the right, stun this, raise our shields. All right, we actually blocked all of that. Very nice. Okay, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's figure this out. Acid cannon now? I mean, here's the question, right? After this combat, the demo ends, so should I care that I if I take damage? Uh, I probably I kind of do care. The problem right now is that I don't have enough attack cards to stun this thing. Um, I don't have any evasion. I should probably just acid cannon. Like I really wish there was a better move for me, but that's honestly the best one. So we took a bit of damage. That's fine. Um, we can only stun one thing. We can gain lots of evasion. So let's like gain evasion, move over, gain another evasion, move away from that uh, two attack, and then, oh, we could have stunned that thing and then stunned this. Oh, no, we couldn't have. Never mind. 
Oh, why didn't I just multi-shot? That was stupid. Okay, sorry. I'm making stupid mistakes right now. Okay, if we move to the left, we break even on this, like, damage. And then we can potentially get rid of this two attack. Do we have any evasion? No, we don't. Wow, that's bad. We don't have any evasion? Bummer. Oh, that's a bummer, dude. All right. Well, I guess I'll throw more acid attack since I'm taking four more damage. Listen, I'm committed to just like, just, just whatever. Here, more, more acid attack. It's fine. Just take three acid, nerd. There you go. Big old crystal. Big old dead crystal. Ask me if I care. Oh, wow. You heal for a lot. Okay. So you can really like throw health at the wall on the boss. And the amount of other cards in your hand. X is the amount of other cards in your hand. So you would what? Oh, I see. So then you attack for the amount of other cards in your hand. Okay. Or choose a card in your draw pile. Put it in your hand. Um, this is exhaust. Or attack. This part takes th one more damage from all attacks. Um, that's okay. But it's another like three energy cost. Uh, uh, is it like permanent? I wonder. I guess it might be. So I guess I'd take that. I can't remember. Was that a was that an exhaust card? Parry boss artifact. Uh, at the start of combat, gain one power drive. On the second turn of combat, your enemy also gains one power drive. Power drive is added as extra damage to all attacks. Interesting. Or boss artifact on pickup, remove three cards. Oh god, yeah, that's really nice. Or Riggs boss artifact. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain one energy. Uh, I probably would go for simplicity. And we're gonna get rid of things like, I don't know, basic shot, yeah. Uh, might even get rid of an evasion because we have attack evasions. We have better evasions in general. Um, I might get rid of like lunge. I don't like lunge because I like having evasion. I like having control over my evasion. We'd get rid of another basic shot. And that's how I would continue, like how I would choose to progress. But this is the end of the demo. I like this game and I would like to play more of it. I I was kind of mean uh, to Earthless for a couple of reasons, mostly because I, I feel like I had seen everything in that game before in some way. Um, and I have seen quite a lot of Cobalt Core as well, like in the way you progress, in the way you upgrade cards, in the way you remove cards. I kind of wish that it was a bit more interesting in those aspects. I wish that uh, it, there was it, it uh, had a bit more um, novelty when it comes to how it implements those features. I know that that's difficult to do, but um, I guess that's just like my, you know, my desire, my expectations for like more um, deck building games. But, but. I do think that this does more when it comes to the moment to moment gameplay. Um, I think that the actual like playing cards and combat is pretty tight and uh, it, it feels good and it feels interesting enough that it makes up for its other uh, less innovative a aspects. Um, maybe I'm being like super mean. I don't necessarily need to say those things, but I, I address them because it's like, I, it really comes down to like how much room in your life do you have for a game that is going to probably demand like a hundred hours of your time. Um, that's a weird way of saying like this is a game that's probably going to have a lot of replays in it. Like the what they're toting here and what general like roguelike ish games or deck builder games um, usually expect from the player is like, you're going to play it uh, a lot of times. There's going to be a lot of replayability. You're going to unlock things and that's going to, you know, it's, it's almost like a legacy game in that sense. So, uh, that's like a promise to the player, but it's also in a way a demand, like it demands you play it a, quite a lot of times in order to get the full, um, you know, the full experience of that game. And so my question is like, how many games am I going to be playing that cover those bases, covers the deck builder uh, genre, covers the tactical genre? Um, and how many of those are like good enough that I don't really need to, you know, I don't want to really fill my time with more of those. All of this I know, I, I understand, sounds super entitled, but you got to you got to understand what I'm coming from a, a kind of fairly pragmatic viewpoint. 
I'm really just asking a question like why would I play certain deck builders, certain roguelikes over the ones I'm already really enjoying, right? That I still haven't like played to the full completion to the full experience. I think that Cobalt Core does enough to justify, um, you know, being added to your to your time to to demand your time. I think it does. I think it does uh, enough to 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 innovate on like the combat and the mechanics and the way uh, you actually like play the game. Um, I, I guess I just also wish that the other aspects were um, a little bit different. But, uh, you know, that's it's a purely subjective thing. I, uh, I don't take it as a criticism, really, just like a wish, I suppose. But anyway, it comes out next month, apparently, uh, and I will definitely be playing more of this, whether it's for my channel or not. I would definitely like to check this out when it drops. I don't know if it's going to be dropping in early access. Um, doesn't seem to... Yeah, it looks like they'll just be doing a full release, but I imagine there's always, like, you know gonna be issues day one but we'll see cobalt core maybe uh, i'm completely wrong let me know in the comments uh let me know uh, am i being too harsh to these games am i completely off base um maybe i should do a like just a think piece video about like you know what i would recommend as being like the the game's worth like hundreds of hours of your time um you know let me know and if you want to check out Cobalt Core, there will be a link in the description. Uh, I would def definitely recommend wishlisting it and uh, checking it out on release. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.